Today we're going to be looking at my Traxxas TRX4M 118 scale and what I have done to it so far for some performance upgrades while still waiting for brass upgrades to come in the mail. The wheel wells have been trimmed here. I had to do a lot of shading, I would say about an eighth of an inch all the way around the wheel well. Did it on all four and now this is what it looks like when it's lifted up. So again, no springs on the shocks. Yeah, see, no springs on those shocks. <clears throat> the performance is actually really good. I was surprised, but I wasn't really surprised because, you know, I do have this other rig over here. Um, this is a SCX24, there's no springs in this long wheelbase. There's no springs in the front. There we go. No springs in the front there. Nothing in the back. I was surprised that it did so well. Um, honestly, just because, you know, there's so much body back here and this little tire cover. Let me show you guys what I have done under the covers. Under the cover. So, it all pretty much looks all the same. And... It is, for the most part. Uh, running these bigger wheels, I did have to trim my bumpers a little bit. I just simply took a razor blade, kind of went straight, you know, just ever so slightly a slant outwards on both sides. The front, I haven't trimmed yet, but where I will trim it is right here. And I'll just go, just knock this off right there. Both sides, your TRX4M will come with the shock towers, the rear shock towers mounted to this furthest rear hole here, closest to the bumper, and the next hole up. You can change that. You can take the, the shock body out, and you can take the two screws out, which removes a little tower. It's kind of, it's one piece that holds the ESC in, so you'll have to do all four screws so that you can slide this little ESC up forward closer to the battery. I don't know if you guys can see how close that is. But yeah, that's what I've got going on on my rig so far as I'm just kind of sitting here waiting for some brass. 